What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Beyond Borders. Today we are going to be kicking off things with another video about Poland. We received some really good feedback from uh, the country as a whole and we thought that we are going to maybe start a new series on this channel, getting to know the country a bit better, um, seeing that it's such a beautiful country and there's so many things that we don't know about Poland and uh, it's a very hotly debated and talked about country in Europe at the moment. So and also like a place where we want to go soon. And we want to go there soon so we thought what better way to get to know the country a bit better by uh, watching some YouTube videos and today we are going to be watching 15 things that you did not know about Poland and then we are going to comment as we go along. So let's kick off today's video. Hello Aluxers, it's time to take a virtual Session. tour of Poland. Today we're taking you on a trip to one of were. Eastern Europe's most beautiful countries. As many of you already know by now, Poland has been a major player in modern history with their implication in the world wars. Due to their location and their Jewish community, they are by far one of the countries that suffered the most in the early 1900s. I think probably being a Jewish country was the biggest reason why they were affected so much, specifically with the Germans putting a lot of the um, Jewish individuals in concentration camps. I think a lot of people died. I think they lost like a big portion of their population yeah. because of World War Two, and that and that like impacted like the whole country as a whole. Like you can imagine how they like try to like recover from that. I think that the the, the biggest thing now is nowadays um, since the World War Two, um, seventy years on. 80 years on, only recovering now, and you can see what a superpower the country is actually becoming. Although nowadays most people visit them because of the concentration camp museums, there's so much more to Poland than just post-war trauma. It's a vivid country with welcoming people that carry the Eastern European mark, medieval architecture, and lots of culture. Out of all of their 38 Good culture. million citizens, Absolutely. over 80% of them go through university. Wow. But at the same time, they are very, very religious. Pope John Paul II was from Poland, and they take... I think that's one thing that I really love about Poland is the fact that they are religious and they stick to their heritage and their culture and they're not afraid to show it and not afraid to express it like yeah and also you know something that I love about Poland is the fact that they keep those concentration camps open as like a remembrance of or a remembrance of the history and what happened and a lot of countries they try and hide the bad side of you know what used to happen in their country but it's nice. I think it's it's good to, and also, you know. I think Poland didn't necessarily play the bad part. They were the victim. No, th so they, that's what I'm saying. They kind of people who try and hide the bad know. part of what happened in their country. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Well, it's crazy to think that, that over 80% of their population goes to university. Fuck. It's crazy. There's great pride in that. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Besides a very tough language, a brutal history, and a lot of smart people, Poland is a hidden gem of Europe. Yeah. And we're going to let you in on its it secrets, is. beauty, Europe's and hidden luxury. Gem. Let's get started. Number one. Many famous actors and directors are of Polish descent. Have you ever thought about the backgrounds of the most famous celebrities? Not all of them are Americans or British. Many celebrities have a variety of roots, and if you haven't noticed that by their last names, the most notorious actors and directors are half Polish or of Polish ancestry. Emmy Award winner John Krasinski, Kristen Mr. Bell, Fantastic. Scarlett Johansson, what? Roman Polanski, or Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak are all Polish That's crazy. somewhere down the line. Scarlett Johansson's this shows how much talent Polish? and beauty Poland has to offer to the world. Number two. Fashion and beauty is really big in Poland. In Europe, Italy and France are the most notorious players in the beauty and fashion industries. The biggest and most luxurious brands are located is that there, and most people forget about the others. Take notice, because some big brands we all know and love no, are that's actually Milan. from Poland. Starting with beauty, Inglot Cosmetics, that recently launched a collection with JLo, was founded in Poland. Max Factor was founded by a Polish woman. What the hell was that? <laughs> founded a brand that was acquired by L'Oreal later on. 
fashion-wise, reserved and mojito are two Polish. That's one thing though that we saw when we were in Sechen. We didn't think we were going to go into like a shopping mall. I was very surprised by how amazing the shopping malls were in Sechen. I can't remember what the mall's name was. I think it was like Galaxy Centrum. I think Galaxy. It was. it was Galaxy Centrum. But like it was super upmarket. Mm. And there were stores in there that I hadn't seen before, like clothing stores, jewelry stores, makeup stores. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and that's one thing I was very surprised about because you wouldn't expect that coming from Poland. Well, that's just the view that I had. I don't know about you. Brands. Number three, they still kiss hands when meeting ladies. Oh. I wish. Ah. <sighs> Some YouTube ads. ads. It's just possible word. Basic manners have changed so much over the years. People nowadays shake hands or kiss on the cheek the most. There used to be a time. I don't know. That's they greet ladies on the head. Her as a sign of respect and courtship. Wow. If you're not a member of the royal family, then you may not be so familiar with all these habits. But in Poland, they're still pretty common. That's sweet. Here, men will still kiss a girl or a woman's hand when meeting her, and even though it might seem bourgeois, it's cool. It's simply good manners. So get used to it. I wish you must have a clean hand. Number four, there aren't too many immigrants. <laughs> That's one thing that I see all on the news at the moment is how Polish, uh, the Polish government is protecting its borders and refusing to let immigrants in, which I think is a very hotly debated topic. But I take my hat off to them because they're sticking to their people and they respect their people's wants and needs. And it's nice to see that because um, they're putting their people first before the needs of others, which I think is very noble and um, I wish more countries would also do the exact same. Um, yeah, okay, let's go. About the world wars in history class, there's a lot of movies, books, documentaries, and so on about the horrors that happened. Since Poland suffered the most from genocide, some of the after effects still haunt its citizens. Nowadays, Poland is a very homogenous society where people look at you very curiously if you're black or Asian. And for that reason, there isn't too many African or Asian migrants there, not even in the bigger cities. Unfortunately, it'll likely take a few more generations for them to fully recover and be more inclusive. But I think that's what I think is. I think they suffered so heavily during the war. They just want to focus on their own people and you can't blame them. Yeah, well, I mean... It's their, it's their stance that they have. And and everyone has a unique stance. The thing is that they were so brutally hit by World War Two that, you know, no other country, I think, suffered as much. I mean, if in the previous video, we saw the ruins or actually what Poland looked like after the war. Which was crazy. So they understand the pain that it you know, caused, and they are now trying to rebuild their society and trying to rebuild their people. So, you know, it it's, you've, got, you've, got to, you've got Everyone to... Everyone has different views on it. Absolutely. But I mean, and you've got to respect it's not, them. You know, something that I want to comment on, but you can appreciate the government for, you know, sticking their ground and, you know, believe sticking to what they believe in and what they think is right. It's admirable. Yeah. Number five. The richest man in Poland has a net worth of $3.7 billion. Yeah. If you didn't know this, I already, think it's small compared Poland to other countries, like countries billionaires, but it's still of a lot of money. Even though the crisis was not that bad in Poland, there's still not the country with the most billionaires. The richest person in Poland is Sebastian Kulczyk, the son of Jan Kulczyk, the richest man in Poland. He inherited his late father's investment fund and now runs it with his sister, Dominika. He's now the president of the company and together with his sister took over the three. I was about to say he looks quite young, fortune. but obviously he got Number from his, six, his dad. A rare luxury sports car was lost in France and found in Poland through social media. These days, social media can help with voting campaigns, help find lost people, raise money and so on. For an Arab millionaire, it helped him to find his luxury sports car that was stolen by a fake company in France. Wow. It was actually That's crazy. like a scam. And we're oh. talking about a Lamborghini Aventador, which was one of roughly five models in a limited edition. I want a car like that. $500,000 each. The car was I just want to, to, like, I can't even imagine how that person must have felt when he realized that his Lamborghini, one of only five in the world, was stolen. Like, what kind of panic must 
set through your brain? Well, they found it in Poland. Through social media. Crazy. Supposed to be it's got a Dubai number plate. Back to London, but it never reached its destination. It was then when he posted on social media about it, and his 70,000 followers not the helped exact him track it down. The main suspect was a Polish officer who may have planned to take the car to Russia when Interpol caught up with him. Number seven. Poland wants more money from Germany over World War II reparations. Whenever something fishy happens in Poland that involves the whole EU, the conversation seems to always shift towards the world war losses. If Germany dares demand explanations from Poland officials regarding their behavior or changes, it backfires. Recently, some Polish officials demanded that Germany should pay post-war reparations because the 1.3 billion euros it was paid are not enough to cover 1% of the losses and damage they created. Yeah. Unfortunately, I see there's so much tension. Like we in, we based in Germany and in, in Berlin, but it seems like there's a lot of tension between Poland and Germany, specifically the government. And you can understand it. I mean, years and years of hardship and you know, agony that the country went through and all the country's trying to do is trying to build themselves up and mm. fighting against the country that literally controlled them and literally put them in like half their population in like concentration camps and killed off. I think it was something like crazy, like almost like 60% of the population died in World War Two. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I agree with that, but in what, less than 20 years time, it's been a century. So... These people, or yeah, the, the, the current Germans, are not the ones who are to blame. They're not the current but ones. But they, they should help out but where... They where, should help out, I think. I mean, where it's necessary. I think it's going to take a long time for a country to recover from something like that. But, I mean, they've been doing a fantastic job. I think Poland... I think Poland is like one of the biggest... I read somewhere, it's like one of the biggest like up-and-coming superpowers in the world. I think in like Poland is going to be the one of the main attractions in in Europe. Like probably give it a couple of years. Only for them, Germany was highly punished for what they did during that time, and they may not get any more money out of it. Number eight, North Korea sent thousands of children to Poland in the 1950s. Why? If you think that the World War was traumatizing for Poland, then you need to look a little more into their history. Being a former communist country, Poland had to take some favors from other fellow communist countries like Russia or North Korea. Back in the 1950s, when the Korean War started, Kim Sung II decided to send thousands of children to Poland, Hungary and Russia to escape the I war. I don't understand. I thought Poland doesn't take well, they, like but, refugees. But wait, let's listen. Finished. War years after they were deported back to North Korea. But as a new movie oh, about the subject they shows, were back. they yes. wanted to stay in their new homes. This movie is called The Children Gone to Poland. Number nine. A bunch of Polish students invented the modern drug test. Wow. The first university in the world was established in Prague. A few years later, the second university was founded, this time in Poland. Nowadays, the tradition of culture and science still goes on in Poland, and we can see that just by looking at their achievements, without mentioning all the Nobel Prize winners and famous scientists. Poland has a lot of prize, like Nobel Prize winners, apparently. We'll probably do a video on that at some point. Good for them. That like they, they've got some really clever individuals. And also that the group of students invented the modern drug test. The students from Poland launched an app that helps people get tested for certain drugs. It uses the phone's camera to scan the eye for anomalies and other symptoms. What? So the next big thing in drug screening may just come from Poland. From an app on your phone. The world's largest medieval castle this. is in Poland. So the, the, they'll check, is your eye a little red? Let me scan it. Or is your, are your pupils yeah. are dilated your pupils or dilated. something? I can tell you if you're on drugs. I tell you, technology... Going places. AI is going to some scary places. Like the world's going to be a different place in a couple of years' time. That's another video. Europe is full of old and beautiful castles. I want to go, yeah. It's also a country that boomed during the Renaissance period. And even though it was severely bombed, the world's largest castle still stands strong. 
the Melbourne Castle, the world's largest medieval castle dating from the 13th That's century, crazy. is now turned into a beautiful museum. If you want to feel like a king, you don't have to move to France. There are many castles for sale all over Poland, with prices sitting modestly at six million dollars. Only six million. Number eleven. They have milk bars that are actually restaurants. What? All milk over the bar? world, restaurants are restaurants. Taxis are called taxis. A milk and hotels bar. Are called Just while we're seeing food here, we've seen a lot of you guys comment on our previous video of how we need to go and experience more Polish food. Um, you know, it looks amazing, and I don't think we really. We didn't really try a lot of try Polish a lot food of Polish food when we were there, but we are definitely keen to try a lot more because the cuisine looks very appetizing. So if there is a Polish meal that yes. you guys recommend, comment Please down below. Please recommend your most traditional favorite Polish meal. Not even most traditional, but the most tastiest. Well, I want to have a traditional. Well, we had their national dish. We had the pierogi. Yeah, I guess so, but I want more. Old hotels. This international convention is very useful until someone decides to change that. In a Poland, milk bar. Milk bars are not what they seem. A milk bar is usually a cafeteria like restaurant where you can eat food and have a drink at a relatively low price. That's Polish pretty cool. People prefer milk bars over milk fast bar. food restaurants because the food is healthier and has a That's better nice. price for its value. Wow. Number I would 12. I would prefer that over like fast food. So you go there and get like a home cooked meal. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, it's fresh and yeah. you and you actually like know what goes into the food, not like I've seen a few similar places also in Germany as well that have that like yeah. there's a few places where you can sit down and then they it's mainly at the butcheries and then they make you a home cooked meal, which is very cool. And and it's not something that we're used to at all. Like usually uh, in South Africa you only go and eat out in a restaurant. Or, but yeah. But, or or at like a fast food chain restaurant. Yes, no, of course. But like here and we see now in Poland as well, there are places that you can like go to a shopping center and there will be a little cafeteria or even like a butchery and they'll make you fresh home cooked meals. It's quite incredible. There are sand dunes in the north. So not only do they have lakes and rivers and mountains and, and forests and trees and, and beaches, but they also <laughs> have sand dunes. Poland is lucky enough to have a sea opening. Although its landscape is not the usual palm trees and pristine beaches, it's still a great place to it's enjoy like on the, the sunshine. It's on the beach, man. They have the Baltic Sea, which is not the warmest water, but it's better than nothing. A pretty usual thing for that region it is, better is than the fact nothing. they have sand dunes along the coast. They please have a beach. Because they're located in such a northern location, the dunes are blown away by the hard winds, and they actually move inland 10 meters each year. <laughs> These Crazy. sand dunes are unique in Europe and can be visited by anyone. Number 13. The Baltic Sea is probably very cold. Like, I, I still want to swim in the Baltic Sea. Uh, I think it's... Do some ice therapy. It's a thing that I still want to try because I've heard it, the water is very cold. It's probably as cold as the Atlantic, like Cape Town water, but it's apparently even colder. Polka dots and polka music are not from Poland. Aww. When you think of polka dots, I didn't think so. Did you think so? You immediately no. attribute them to Poland. I don't even Bell know what polka music is. you that if you is. ever related the two of those, you're wrong. The polka dance is actually from the Czech region of Bohemia. The polka dots have multiple origins. They might be related to a Polish woman. The only but thing I heard of she wore an easy bikini, yellow polka dot bikini. Dot bikini. That's the only thing I was thinking of. Wondering polka where does polka dot come from? Fame and use dates are from the medieval times. No one really knows who invented polka dots and the name of the pattern. It can be Czech, Polish, or American. Exactly. If they don't know who created it, then it could have been the Polish. Knows. So there's little chance it is. Number 14. You can't name your child whatever you want in Poland. Good. Yes. Because you should not be naming your son hashtag exclamation mark Z Z W or X Y X Y Z <laughs> A B C D E. Now that everyone is a fan of Game of Thrones and other famous series, mm. the naming of a new baby has become way more interesting. 
Modern parents strive to give their babies the craziest and most Get unique it. names they can think of. Banjo. In <laughs> Poland, such behavior is Champagne. not tolerated. You can't just go in and name your baby girl Daenerys. At the civil registry office, you'll be advised to choose... James was such a big Game of Thrones fan. I can guarantee you that he was definitely considering naming, if we had a daughter one day, her Daenerys. No, I don't like the name. Thank goodness. That is appropriate. And you'll be given a list of names which are not recommended. If the name is too weird, they can refuse to register your baby and you'll have to go to court to settle it. So, just on the previous topic, some parents should, uh, you know, it's good that they prevent parents from naming their children what they want because it's not the parent that has to suffer with that name, it is the child. But exactly. So, so good, good on Poland for, for protecting the child has the to child. go through all of that. Exactly, brain. the bullying and the making fun of. So good. It's actually a cool law. Like, Absolutely. That. Number 15. They have a $7,250 wow. vodka. That's one thing about Polish. I have some Polish friends and they love their vodka. $7,250. That is their drink. And they don't mix. They do not mix their vodka with like Coke or put in cocktails. They drink it clean. Just like $7,250. In Rand, that is like 150,000 Rand. Like a... What about this vodka makes it so special? Vodka and Poland work very well together. Hand in hand. They've been well-known <laughs> vodka lovers and exquisite producers of this alcoholic beverage for quite a while. Polish I think that's like their national drink. Alcohol, and they're not afraid to craft specialties and expensive concoctions. A few years ago, Poland launched a limited edition of their Belvedere vodka called Check Belvedere it, like a gloss? exclusively for the Cannes Film Festival. It was a beautiful bottle design in collaboration with DJ wow. Jean Rock for the festival's party. It looks cool. They priced it at $7,250 per bottle, including the plexiglass bear that holds it. Well, a lot If of I had that amount of money to spend on vodka, I mean, then I must be really like rich, really well off. Like, I, can, I can guarantee you there's people that buy it. Yeah, there's many people out there that do it. I would love to taste a seven thousand dollar bottle of vodka. Towards the east on the map, you really find amazing places. Poland is, in fact, a great destination for digital nomads and students. It is. Here, you can get the best out of both worlds: Eastern Europe and Western Europe. Do you guys think the stereotypes about Polish people? So that's the video. I mean, I think Poland. There's a lot that we do not know about it, and I don't think it's just us that don't know a lot. I think the whole world. I think outside of Europe don't know a lot about the country and its past and how beautiful it is and how great of a country it is to visit. The people, the yeah. culture, the landscapes and I mean there's some pretty awesome things just from this video alone, uh, and things as, that I didn't know about. Yeah and as we, as I mentioned earlier, you know it's it's great that uh, Poland is still um, keep upkeeping part of their history even though it was really really brutal and bad and seeing how a country that was beaten down to the ground have successfully built themselves up to where they are now and have all these amazing things that is attracting basically people from across the world to go visit them. The it's, thing, it's really um, something that you can take your hat the, off the, to. The thing that I admire is how they preserve their culture, they preserve their history, preserve and they their, pre preserve their values. And religion. And they do not change it and they do not conform to the rest of the world and how they are pressuring basically them to change and they're staying who they are and they're staying to what they believe in so and it takes one you know strong leader to make a stance and look after their people for the rest of the world to also follow and i think it's a good example that's being set you know t put your people first the more videos i watch about poland the more i like it so this is definitely not the last video that we are going to be doing Comment down below if there's a video that we should watch, uh, something that gives us maybe a bit more insight into the country or something that we might not know or places to visit. This is us for this video though. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel and uh, you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Please smash the thumbs up button. And um, until next time, this is Beyond Borders. Over and out.